Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just kind of wanted to talk about what the Disney College program actually is. Uh, just because I've had a lot of like friends and family ask me what's this program thing I'm doing. So I just wanted to take some time to explain the college program and to answer a lot of questions that I've been getting asked. So for those of you who don't know what the Disney College program is, it's a four to seven month paid internship through either Walt Disney World in Florida or Disneyland here in California. Um, there's three different components to the Disney College program and those are living, learning, and earning. So the first component is living. So with the living component, um, when I go to Florida, there's going to be four different apartment complexes that Disney is going to provide for me that I can choose to live in. Um, now when you do the program, you actually don't have to live in these apartments. I'm just choosing to live in them. So the four different complexes are Vista Way, Chatham Square, Patterson Court, and The Commons. Um, each of these different complexes kind of have like perks and downsides to live in each of them, but I'm going to wait and talk about that in a different video. But whenever you do live in the complexes, you have to pay rent. And so rent is taken out of your pay every single week. And rent can fluctuate anywhere between like $100 to $200, depending on how many people you live with and which complex you decide to live in. It is a little pricey, but whenever you do live in the complexes, um, your rent includes housing events, it includes um, utilities, so like water, gas, um, it includes Wi-Fi, it also includes cable. They also have these cool things called housing events. So basically within housing events, they can do a lot of cool things like they'll do like grocery bingo where you can play bingo and then you'll win groceries. And then they also have welcome events. So when I first go to Disney, they'll have this cool like welcome event for all of the new spring arrivals. Um, they'll also have graduation ceremonies for whenever you complete the program. Then they'll just have like fun little events throughout the time there too. Another cool thing about living in housing is you get to take advantage of the bus system that Disney provides. So they have buses they provide that take you anywhere within the parks and they'll take you to the different complexes and it comes completely free as long as you live in Disney housing. So if you don't live in housing, you don't get these buses. So the second component to the Disney College program is learning. So this part is kind of optional. Um, so Disney does provide different classes that you can take. They, they provide um, college classes, so classes that you can take at Disney that give you credit at your college. Or you can choose to take seminars. Um, I've mentioned in another video that I am going to be taking seminars through Disney. And those ones don't give you any college credit, but they are like little fun classes that you can take just to kind of learn more about Disney and kind of um, build more of a resume kind of. With the learning component, also whenever you do complete like a seminar or a class, you get a Mousters or a Ductorate. If you decide that you don't want to take any classes through Disney, through the college classes or the seminars, you can also register to take classes at your own school and then you can register for a time slot that you won't work. That way you can have time to kind of like study for your classes and do homework and stuff. Third and final component of the Disney College program is earning. So this is the most important component of the program and this is the one that everyone kind of talks about. With the earning component, this is where my role will come into play. When you first go to apply for the program, there's like a billion different roles you can choose from. Some of them include like quick service, attractions, entertainment, merchandise, uh, lifeguarding. There's a ton that you can choose from. So when you go to apply for the program, you basically like choose which roles you're interested in and which roles you're not interested in. And then once you get accepted into the program, they give a role to you and that's where you're gonna be working within the parks. Whenever you're given this role, you are contracted to be able to be given at least 32 hours a week. So every time that I get my, my schedule for work, it'll have at least 32 hours on it, but it could be more um, or I could pick up shifts throughout the week. Whenever you do get your role, that role could be anywhere within the parks. So it could be at any of hotels, anywhere within the parks. So I could be working at Animal Kingdom, I could be working at Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, I could even be working at any of the water parks and even Disney Springs. So now I just wanted to take some time um, just to answer some frequently asked questions that like a lot of my friends and my family have been asking me. The first question that I get asked a lot is how many people get accepted? Um, so this kind of ranges every single hiring season. Kind of like the happy medium answer that a lot of people give is that 
50,000 people apply every season and 5,000 people get accepted. Um, sometimes it's a little more people that apply and more people get accepted or less people apply and less people get accepted, but that's kind of like the average. And that's only for the Walt Disney World program. So I'm not entirely sure how many people apply for the Disneyland program, but I know they only take like two to three hundred people. So that one's a lot harder to get into. Um, the second question that I get asked a lot is what are the requirements to do the Disney College program? So for those of you who are interested in doing the Disney College program, to be able to do the program, you have to be at least 18 years of age or older and you have to be currently enrolled in and taking college classes. Um, they don't really care which school you go to. You can be going to a JC, you can be going to like a UC, a CSU, doesn't really matter. Um, you just cannot be in high school right now taking college classes. You have to actually be graduated out of high school and be taking college classes currently. Third question I get asked a lot is, did I pay anything to do the program? Yes. <laughs> For the Disney World program, the deposit, I believe, was $350 to do the program. Um, now, I know that kind of sounds steep, but with that, it pays for my first two weeks of rent and then it also pays for housing events. And then for the Disneyland program, I think it's closer to like a thousand dollars what you pay because in California like living here is a lot more expensive so deposits more expensive. And the fourth question I get asked a lot is what kind of perks am I going to be able to get while I'm at Disney? So I get free admission to Disneyland and I get free admission to Walt Disney World. I also will get free admission for some of my friends and family depending on how many hours I work. So for every 150 hours that I work, I get three free one day park hopper passes um, to basically give to whoever I want. Um, and so I can earn a total of nine free park hopper passes through my whole program. And then I also will get discounts on a lot of things throughout the parks. Fifth question I get asked a lot is, is my college giving me credit for this? And the answer to that is no. Um, when I was first applying for the program, I met with a counselor for my school and told them that I was going to be applying and asked them like what my steps would be with them to get credit for it and they just flat out told me I wasn't going to get any credit for the program, that if I decided to do this, I would just have to take a semester off. Um, so I'm not going to be taking any classes with my college while I'm doing this and then also I'm not going to get any credit for doing this program and any classes that I take at Disney I won't get any credit for as well. And then that leads into the sixth and last question that I get asked a lot, why am I doing the program? Um, so I am kind of a huge Disney fan so this has been something that I've always really wanted to do as soon as I found out that it was a thing and my like ultimate goal is to be able to work for Disney somehow eventually. And so with the Disney College program, it's a really good way to be able to network yourself and get your foot in the door so that in the future, if I wanted to go back to Disney, that I can. Disney also looks great on a resume. <laughs> this ends up being a conversation starter and it just looks really good for in the future. So even if I don't end up going back with Disney in the future and end up deciding to go somewhere else within my career, this is still something that's going to look really good on a resume. Um, and then I'm also doing the Disney College program because I eventually want to go back and be able to do a professional internship through Disney. And for a lot of the professional internships, you have to do the Disney College program first. They kind of want to see if they want to work with you first before they um, decide to give you another professional internship. So if you complete the Disney College program, they know that you're actually committed to the company and you really want to be a part of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys had any questions that I didn't touch on this uh, video, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to answer any questions that you guys have. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all real soon.